Hello everyone, welcome to Farming Simulator 22. I've eventually got around to checking out the game and I'm going to give my first impressions of it as we go along. I've loaded up the game and we can see here that we've got three standard maps. We've got Elm Creek, which looks like uh, an American map. We've got Hot Berleron, which looks like France. And we've got Elingrad, which looks a little bit like Austria. So I think I'm going to go for the American one. And uh, I think Giant Software have let the side down a little bit here. I would like to see a little bit more of this map. I'm going to commit to this for a period of time, maybe for a few seasons. And all I'm getting is one image. No idea what the map's going to look like at all. So we're making a big commitment there, but let's go for Elm Creek. And we're going to pick somewhere to start our farm off. Now you'll see here that I have hacked the game. What I intend to do is not do the usual grind where I'm putting out a video every day or two. I don't have the time to do that and I don't think you need to see me, a complete rookie, putting out a brand new video every day or two, making mistakes, buying the wrong type of tractor. Instead, I'm going to inherit a farm, have a fair bit of money behind me. Basically, we're going to see which crops we can grow and learn along the way. And if I can help you learn things along the way, then that would be wonderful as well. But please keep me right because I do not know what I'm doing whatsoever. So anyway, let's go. Let's get started. Okay, it's loaded. And so let's have a look at the map. Now, this is the thing I'm talking about. These maps are absolutely gorgeous. And why would they not let you fly around this map at first? Let you have a look at all three so you can decide which one suits you best, rather than just give you a sort of artist's impression of them. This looks wonderful. So what we've got to do first is we've got to decide where our farm is going to be. I don't particularly want it across from this gas station over here, so we're going to have a little look around the map. I'm going to have a look at somewhere that I want to put my farm. Okay, I think I found it. I think this is going to be the farm for me. This looks absolutely perfect. Some rolling hills round about, some land over here that we can definitely buy, perhaps some land in the distance there that we can transform into fields. Lovely white picket fences. This big barn looks like it could be useful. Storage shed up here and a farmhouse. Yeah, I think this is going to be the one. We are going to make this one our home. So let's go ahead and see if we can purchase this farm. So as you can see from the balance down here, what I've done is I've taken, um, basically edited the file to give myself a, a good starting amount of money, a really, a really good amount of money to begin with. So the idea is we're going to start with these three fields, one, two and three along here. We'll see what's in them, we'll see what we can harvest. There's some farmhouses here as well. So we're going to buy that and start our adventure straight away. So we've got this field over here, number one. Looks beautiful with some sunflowers in it. What does it say about them? They're growing. Now I've noticed at the top here that this game is running away at five times speed I think. So I'm going to try and pause it just so that our crops don't turn bad in the time it takes us to buy machinery and mess about with setting up our farm. So let me just go ahead and do that. So I've changed the game to real time and that should allow me to buy myself a little bit of time just to see what I'm doing. Um, so here we go, we've got the sunflowers are growing, fertilised 100%, that's wonderful. Let's not wreck them as we run past. I believe we own the farm up here, but I've got no idea if we can use the buildings or not. I've got no idea if we can get access to them. Or are they just assets that I have to effectively delete? I'm not too sure about that. I don't seem to be able to get into the building, so it might be we've got to buy our own. But we can keep them there for now, because they look pretty cool. And let's go down to farm 2, which is over this white picket fence. What's growing here?
and let's run down the road here. We're going to have to get a car soon. To field three, and this one needs lime, needs ploughing, and had canola in it, but it's already been harvested. So we can have a think about this field, and I imagine without having to buy the neighbour's land over there, I think we can probably turn this land further down here into more fields. If we have a look at the map again, there's quite a bit of land over here before we get to this forest that we can probably turn into fields and we can probably also take on this area over here. So one of the really frustrating things about this, and I've been, I've been messing about with this map for about half an hour now, is that you cannot use any of the buildings that you buy on the farm. So I bought this farm with the idea that I could use some of these buildings, but I believe that that's just a farming sim thing, that you cannot use the existing buildings. So what you have to do is demolish them and build your own ones, which is a shame because I like how these buildings look. So if we go into the construction tab here, this should allow us to get rid of this building. It has no value and it's only decoration. That's a shame. Okay, so let's sell it for nothing. And let's hope that we can put a new farmhouse in its place. Yeah, that looks great. Let's go for that. There's our farmhouse in place. Ah, oh, and now it's moved all of the other decorations, which is super annoying. Let's see if I can get another shed. This was my idea, to do something like this. I think that looks pretty good. We can get into the sheds from either side there. Okay, I think this is going to do us for now. We've got the farmhouse in here, and we've got the shed that's sitting down there. This is a touch dangerous. I can see things going amiss here, so I might have to smooth this little bit of the hill later. But generally speaking, I think this is pretty good. It's an old shed. It's not the, maybe the easiest thing to use, but I think we'll be okay. We'll see if we can fit the tractors and things into it. If we can't, then we can try something different. My initial impressions of Farming Simulator 22 are very good so far. There are a few quirks of the sim that I'm still getting used to, but given we haven't done any farming yet, I'm enjoying it so far. So I'm sure the fun will only continue when we get into the proper farming work and start getting our hands dirty. Please leave me comments if you have suggestions and tips for me, and I welcome any feedback you have. Next episode, we're going to buy our first equipment. We definitely need a tractor, and we need to plough field 3 and prepare it for the next crop going in there. I hope you'll join me for that. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.